Oh, sweet air again. Is that not scented jasmine? The years haven't changed you at all, Shin. You still know all the backdoor exits to every gambling house around. Knowledge gained from sorry experience. I'm surprised you aren't better acquainted with escape routes yourself, judged by your own skill with the tiles. Hey, I was doing well in there until you just hauled me out. To catch up on old times with my favorite friend, eh, go? I couldn't very well whisper in your ear there and have them accuse you of cheating. <laughs> Like that time at the Three-Legged Frog Tavern with the butcher and the meat cleaver? I've never run so fast since. <sighs> then your luck's better than mine, my friend. It's good to see you, Shun. You taught me everything I know that I shouldn't, you sly old mongrel. <laughs> it's good to see you back in this neck of the woods, go. Anyway, I didn't drag you away from your game just to reminisce under the stars, my dear friend. <sighs> I didn't think so. Like I said, I haven't managed to run as fast since. Luck has somewhat caught up with me, and... <sighs> Let me guess. You need money. Oh, I do indeed. A great deal of it. And tonight, I can't run away from this one. Hmm, understood. I'm also keeping out of the way of a few people around these parts who want to settle up a couple debts. All I have left is my future winnings inside. Y'all playing with nothing? Don't I always? I'll come up with something, Shun, but right now, I really need to get back to my table. To get back to your beautiful companion, you mean? Blossom? Ah, yeah, trust you to notice her. What man couldn't? She's from quite a family, though. You are a brave man. Oh, yes? She has another three sisters, each as beautiful as the flowers they're named after. Let's see, there's Blossom and Chrysanthemum, Lily. They say that Orchid, the eldest, is the most beautiful of them all. They also say that if a man does see Orchid, she's the last thing he ever sees. Absolutely deadly. Deadly? Well, they're all accomplished swordswomen, but they say Orchid's pure fury. A natural killer like her father, Merciless Da, the swordsmith. So the lovely Blossom has a deadly sister and a father called Merciless Da? Huh. Sounds like my luck. But... Blossom's rich, girl. At least her father is. Maybe. No, Shun. I only just met her tonight. I am not asking her for a loan. Too late. What do you mean? Hmm? Oh. Uh-oh. Shun. Do you see that finely dressed man over there? By the farmhouse? The one with the gang of thugs I can smell from here? Yeah, that's the one. That's Punctilius Way. He owns a lot of land and businesses in these parts. He also owns an IOU with my name on it. Look, if we creep back through the door, we can collect our swords from the front entrance and- Hey! Hey! Get off! What are you doing? I'm so sorry, old friend. Believe me, I didn't want to do this. Mr. Way! I've got him here! Look, Shun, um, whatever he's paying you- You'll owe me double. Treble, my friend. Yes, I know. I don't need your word, go. I need something colder and more golden. Forgive me. Thank you, Shun. We can take it from here now. And my debt? I am a man of my word, Shun. Scratch him off the list, Jingwe. Don't hurt him. Loyalty to your friends is an honorable trait, young man. However, the fisherman has no right to tell the cook not to gut the fish. Where do you think you're going, Shun? This lesson is for your benefit, too. Punctilious Way, what an honor to see you again. Uh, sir, there's been a bit of a misunderstanding. No, there is no misunderstanding. The list, Jingwell. See, your name and your debt. All of that? That must have been quite a game. Wish you could remember it. Indeed, it was most enjoyable. Now... I am a reasonable man, and I am not eager to get blood on my clothes. Hey, you know what? I'm not too keen on blood on my clothes either. We already got something in common. Now, I will get your money, but... I am a patient man. I have waited for more than a year to be repaid. Now, you're thinking, 
What's a little longer to a man like me? But this is a question of principles, little fish. Besides, Jingguo so likes to strike people off the list. <laughs> How diligent of him. You shall serve as an example to those who do not pay their debts. Excuse me, Mr. Wei? Why, if it's not one of Merciless Dar's beautiful daughters. Is your father here, child? <laughs> do you think that one of Merciless Dar's daughters would be out on her own at this time of night? No, no, uh, of course not. Forgive me. Well, give him my regards. I am, as ever, looking forward to him performing at my party tomorrow. It is healthy for businessmen such as ourselves to have good relations. And, uh... Hmm. Will, um, you be there too, sweet thing? With my father, yes. And I'm Blossom. I know who you are, Miss Blossom. And good, good. Then I will look forward to chatting with you further. But for now, we must be on our way. Come on, go. Men. Sounds like fun, way. Gentlemen, excuse me. As soon as I've helped this poor girl find her father, I'll definitely catch right up with you. Nonsense. One of my men will escort her. Mr. Wei, I hope you're not pretending for my benefit. I did overhear you threatening to kill this young man. A joke. I don't think so. So... Where the hell was she hiding that sword? Is she going to fight on your behalf? Some people would, Shun. If you are going to execute people, this would be a better blade. See the quality of the steel. This will cut down a man as if he were a blade of grass. That isn't what I was hoping she'd say. Your father made this? He did, and now it's yours. Please accept it as payment for Go's debt. I see. Well, Go, a man with good friends is a fortunate man. A man with rich friends, even more so. M more than a friend. He is the man I'm going to marry. Uh, Mary? What? Go? I, I... I had no idea. I wouldn't like there to be any disagreements between yourself, Mr. Wei, and Merciless Da's future son-in-law. No, no, of course. Thank you, child. I will, of course, accept this. We must let bygones be bygones. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Your husband-to-be is a very lucky man. Remove him from the list, Jingguo. Blossom, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. And you have my thanks as well. That was getting a bit too nasty back there. How could you betray Go? What? My oldest friend? I had a plan to save him all along. I would have never let them kill him, you know that, Go? Right? Hey, where'd he go? He's vanished. Go! Go! I'll find him, Blossom. Don't you worry. This must be the place. Just like Go to have set up camp in a barn. So that's the nun he traveled with doing exercises. Look at her go. She looks fearsome. She doesn't know you, Sean. She doesn't know what you did. Let's just hope it stays that way. One, two, three. One, and two, three. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? <clears throat> I didn't know anybody used this barn. I... You're not a farmhand. Who are you? I am Sean, old friend of little Go's. 
<laughs> you must be. Sister Cat, well, it's nice to meet you, Sean. Can you sit up? I think so. Where's Go? Is he in trouble? That's why I came to find you, sister. I met him last night. Uh, gambling, no doubt. Um, no. A drink and a chat. Anyway, this girl came up and was all over him. Go was his normal charming self and she fell for him. And now she thinks she's going to marry him. Go proposed to her? He never mentioned it to me. He looked just as shocked as I was when she suddenly announced it. Anyway, that's not the half of it. See, no sooner did Blossom say they were getting married, Go was off like a wild hare. I'll find him, Blossom, don't you worry. And I followed to check he was all right. We ran through the woods in the darkness. I could see him just ahead of me, darting through the trees. Go, go, come back. When suddenly, I crept up to see a young woman standing over him with a sword to his throat. Well, good evening, miss. A beautiful night for a run, don't you think? And a little damp for sitting around in the mud. If I can just... Uh... Don't move. What do you mean by running away and leaving my sister alone and weaponless? What? Who are you? I'm Lily, second daughter of Merciless Da. And Orchid is nearby, too. We were looking for our sister Blossom when we saw what happened with Punctilious Way. Why did our sister pay off your debts? I didn't ask her to. She's the kind-hearted type, I guess. Maybe that runs in the family, eh, Miss Lily? And then you ran away. Our sister's marrying a coward. Oh, she's not. Really, she's not. If I can just explain... No time for that. Orchid will tear you apart if she finds you. I want you alive. You're going to sort things out with Blossom. I won't have her heart broken again. We'll go somewhere she won't look for you. Move! I don't... Yeah! think so. Yeah. Miss Lily, we met by chance this evening while gambling. Yeah. Huh. She came out of nowhere where I was having a business meeting and suddenly announced we were getting married. Ah! Uh, you expect me to believe that? I'm not sure I do. Is she always this crazy? Don't you dare talk about Blossom that way. Uh, you're going to marry her like you promised. See, I can fight left-handed too. I'd be more impressed if you gave me a sword to fight back with too. Uh. I'm not fighting one-handed to impress you. It's because there's a tree branch in the other hand. Sorry, I know knocking you out isn't giving you a fair fight. Ugh. Ugh. But I don't often win those. Next time, Lily, remember to knock him out close to home. Go put up a valiant fight, but he was still a little drunk. I mean, he was tired, sister. And this girl just struck him over the head. She beat both of you. Both of us? Yes, of course. She was highly trained, a force of nature. I'm ashamed to say she knocked me out, too. I awoke and they were gone. I see. But he's hardly in any danger. Lily isn't going to kill Go. Worse. She's going to marry him off. Well, maybe Go would benefit from some structure in his life. Come now, sister. You wouldn't want him to be unhappy, would you? She'd stop him from finding real love. You mean she'd stop him from going out gambling every night? Well, yeah. Sean, I can't tell if you're just like Go, or worse. Lily might not kill him, but what about Orchid? And her father is Merciless Da. He'd kill anyone without hesitation if he thought they were fooling him. Go's in trouble, then. Let's go. Hello. Are you all right? Oh, my head. What? Oh, hello. Hey, uh, could you untie me, please, Mr... Ming. What does a man do to, to get himself tied to a tree? N nothing. I was attacked. No, no, don't go. It, it wasn't bandits. Don't worry. It was a young woman. 
Her, her sister wants to marry me. Ah, uh, problems of the heart. I, I, I'm familiar with those. Then why not help out a fellow sufferer, eh? Hey, is that a musical instrument you've got there? Yes, I... Uh, that's what I do. Play the luchin. Ah, I love music. Don't play anything myself, but... Uh, hey, call me Go, by the way. Well, a lover of music can't be a bad man, Go. Let's see if I can undo these... It's strange. You look like one who can defend himself. Uh, and I can. But she was exceptional and she got me at a bad time. They're the daughters of Merciless Thaw the Swordsmith. Have you heard of them? You must be a stranger here, then. Everyone has heard of Merciless Da in these parts. And as for his daughters, the four flowers of Shandong... I am in love with one of them myself. Though I'd never dare tangle with the rest of her family, so it is never to be. Yes, I can see why you wouldn't. Look where tangling got me. Merciless Da trained them all from birth in the martial arts. The one I love is just as deadly as her sister's, but she has such compassion and such beauty. Her lips, the pink of the blossom she's named after. You're in love with Blossom? Huh, she's the one they're trying to pair me off with. Oh, I see. Well, uh, you're a lucky man. Wait, don't leave, don't leave. I only met her a few hours ago, Ming. Look, I don't know what's going on here, okay? But even I don't think she could fall for me that quickly. <laughs> well, I was fool enough once to believe she'd fallen for me in the few hours we were together. How do you know she didn't? I... I didn't dare stay to find out. I was a fool. Well, maybe. And now she wants to marry you. But it wasn't a decision made from love, Ming. She's obviously keen to get married for some reason, but I just happen to be the guy there. Look, uh, maybe if I find her someone who was willing to marry her, eh? You... you think she might? Well, we won't know if we don't try, and I don't like the alternative. Uh, when did you meet her? A whole year ago, almost to the day. The local landowner in this area holds a birthday party every year. He's sort of a hub of the community, and he persuades Wait, that... you don't mean punctilious way? Yes. Yep, he is a very persuasive man. He is indeed. He persuades everyone in the town who can play to give a recital. Merciless Dar is quite a performer. He plays the luchin too, and sings very well. Last year we played together a little, and afterward Blossom approached me, and I could not speak. I have to travel from town to town to make a living, but I returned this year, hoping I could maybe get the courage to talk to her this time. There, you're free. Thank you, friend Ming. I think we can work together on this. Can you show me the way to Da's house? You're going to speak to him? Not if I can help it. I'll pick up my sword from the pub on the way. I want to find Blossom and have a chat, but I want to do it on more equal terms. Come on, let's go. Look, sister. That's Da's place down the hill there ahead of us. I see. That's strange. Smoke usually belches out of his workshop chimney. Just a tiny wisp today. Maybe he's out looking for go. Then we must find him first. Wait, who's that coming out of the woods toward the house? It looks like go. And a thin man carrying something. A wooden weapon of some kind. Looks too young to be da. We'd better find out. Come on. Wait, sister. Let's not play all our tiles at once. You carry on down this path. I'm going through the woods. We'll attack from both sides. See you there. Out of my dreams and into 
So, this is Dad's house, is it? Oh, hey, what's that noise? I think someone's trying to sing. I thought you said this was a musical family. Merciless Dar is. I do hope that isn't Blossom. Hey, no backing out now, Ming. Just leave it to me. Let's take a look around first and see who's in. Come on, don't worry. I'm right behind you. You! You're the man who betrayed my sister! You've not even tried to disguise yourself! Quick, go. Run. Not yet, Ming. Why, yes I am. But it was a bit of a misunderstanding. Where is she? I've come to talk to her. She's got a sword. We've not had the pleasure. You're Miss Orchid? <laughs> if I were Orchid, your tongue wouldn't still be in your head to ask me. Orchid doesn't do small talk. I'm Chrysanthemum. You must be... Uh, ho? Low? Go. Oh. And your friend with the loo chin. There's something familiar. Miss Chrysanthemum, I need to talk to Blossom. To raise her hopes? To whisper sweet lies before leaving her so that every day she wakes hoping you might return? Or to stay and bring our family name into disrepute? I don't think so. Miss Lily thought we had a chance. She said I was bound to sort it out. She is no better than Blossom. I'm not so naive, Mr. Go. Huh? <laughs> It was me he almost hit. Interesting. Sorry, Ming, but I'll be needing this. No! Oh, please! Don't use my Liu as a sh as a shield. It's it's my Why the hesitation, Miss Chrysanthemum? Brought up with too much respect for craftsmanship? If you still want to kill me, why not sing instead? You ah! go! Hey, sister. Who's this? A friend come to help you? I'm not so sure. My helping go won't help him to learn that gambling has consequences, will it? Sister. Oh, very well, then. If you fight go, you fight three of us, doesn't she, Shun? Uh, Shun? Shun's here? He was. He's not a friend. You can't trust him, Cat. He brought me here to help you. He said he'd back us up. Sister, it'll be quicker waiting for a snowfall to save us than waiting for Shun. In that case, if you fight my friend, I'm afraid you fight two of us. What's it going to be, Chrysanthemum? Two against one? <laughs> I can do the math. You want to talk to Blossom? Fine. It's her life. I'm more used to her alive than dead. Hmm, that's smart. Now, where is she? In the workshop. I'd talk fast if I were you. It's going to be your last words once Orchid finds you. Cat, Ming, stay here with Chrysanthemum. I'll be right back. Blossom? Blossom? Go? Oh, there you are. Um, Blossom, look. I'm sorry for running away last night, but, you know, a couple hours gambling together isn't usually enough for me to leap into a marriage. I mean, you're a beautiful woman and all, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, but uh, would you mind calling your sisters off? Call them off? I'm Look, I'm really grateful for you getting me out of that tight spot, and I'll pay you for the sword, but marriage is kind of out of the question. Marriage? What? Oh! <laughs> You thought I meant what I said about marrying you? Well, yes. And I'm not the only one. Um, your charming family seems to have the same idea. Go, I said it to Wei as a favor to you. If he thought that you'd be my father's son-in-law, then Wei wouldn't dare touch you. I didn't mean it. And besides, my heart's already committed. Then perhaps you could mention that to your sisters? They don't seem as keen on saving my hide as you do. Oh, Go, I'm so sorry. How did they find out? 
Oh, they're so overprotective. I had no idea. I've been in here all day finishing off this blade. You make swords too? Orchid was his favorite. Father taught us all to craft weapons and fight. He wanted sons. It didn't seem to bother him that we were girls. Was his favorite. Oh, I get it, I get it. Orchid's flown the nest, hasn't she? But you and your sisters keep up the myth to frighten away robbers wanting to relieve an elderly man and his daughters of their valuable weapons, right? No, that's not it. Orchid would never leave us. Fine. In that case, can you have a word before she tears my head off my shoulders? And can you talk to Chrysanthemum right now? She's outside, and it took a couple of my friends to stop her from trying the same thing. What? Don't hurt her! I, hey, I wasn't going to. Chrysanthemum! It, it's not. What? Wh who's that man? That musician? Little Blossom, you've gone quite pale. Here, come, sit by the furnace. Let me help you. There, sit down. You don't happen to mean my very best friend Ming, do you? Your very best friend? Oh, yes. He's like my brother. We talk all the time, advise each other on all, oh, all sorts of things. Go. In return for the sword I gave for you, could you do me a favor? I could consider it. That man out there, Ming. I met him a year ago to the day at Wei's party. No, really? Why? We have quite a coincidence here, don't we? So he never mentioned it, then? No, he didn't mention the performance much at all. He was too busy talking about this girl. Hey, wait, come to think of it, it was you. What a coincidence. He did? You mean you knew all along? I didn't know you felt the same. Thing is, uh, he's a bit intimidated by your father and... I knew it. That's why he didn't come back. Chrysanthemum told me I was fooling myself. Go, could you put in a good word for me? Well, if you could get your father to agree... But that's the point. Father can't stop us. Go. Father died last spring. But Punctilious Way must never find out. Okay, why? He gets extra income from charging fees to everyone in the area. He's always left our home and business alone, though, because he's terrified of my father. We're keeping it all going as best as we can. But I haven't even managed to get the furnace hot enough today. And then, there's the party tonight. Have you heard Chrysanthemum singing? Unfortunately, yes. And I suppose you're going to tell me that it's her turn tonight. Oh, boy. Every household is meant to do something. Wei loves to pretend the community is all so happy on his birthday. Father was due to play. We're saying he's ill, and Chrysanthemum is taking his place as she's the best singer of us all. She is? Hmm. Blossom, I want you to talk with your sisters. I think I can do something to help you and your family. But first, we need a very patient horse. Sweet and pure as flowing water Neath the curling willow tree Future bride and loving daughter Sows her silk and waits for me hmm. Ming doesn't play too badly, does he, sister? Beautifully. And it seems the punctilious way is enjoying it, too. Look at him smiling along. He's completely taken in by Ming's disguise. Wei thinks that Ming is Merciless Star, right? Exactly. Wei's happy to applaud from a distance, thank goodness. He's too afraid of Merciless Star to get close, and as long as Ming can avoid speaking, he should probably get away with it. Of course, because Ming's voice will sound too young. <laughs> that and his horsehair mustache might come unglued. I see. There's just one thing I don't understand. I can see why Ming is dressed up as an elderly man, but why are you? Well, until Blossom finds Orchid in disguise doesn't seem like a bad thing. Plus, I thought it would be good for the family reputation if Merciless Da's equally fearsome brother turned up for the occasion. Well, I hope your moustache is glued on well. Wei is playing the good host and he's coming over. Good evening, sister. 
It's not usual. I have religious company at my parties. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Way. And who is this gentleman? Way, isn't it? They call me Bloody Blade. I'm Merciless Dodd's closest brother, back from battle. Really? I'm glad you could come. Your brother has again honored me with his playing. Ha! Music! My brother unfortunately has his weaknesses, doesn't he? A true warrior has no stomach for such womanly pursuits. Of, of course not. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to speak to all my guests. It was a pleasure. Oh, I'm sure we'll meet again, Way. I intend to spend more time with my family in the future. Perhaps when you visit my brother, I will be waiting. Uh, I'll look forward to that. There. That should keep him away from Da's family for a while, I hope. All right, sister, come on. Let's get going. For once, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Well, all seems to have ended well this time. Sure looks that way, sister. What do you say to heading back to White Foxtown in the morning? Sister, and your companion. Shun! Huh, so now you've turned up since everything's over. Go, you look like an old man. I didn't recognize you in the moonlight in those clothes. Tell me all's forgiven, old friend, eh? I thought I'd come back with you both to White Foxtown. You can show me all the... What was that? Sounded like a wild animal. Go. <gasps> Go. Oh! Ah! Ah! My leg. What was that thing? Shh, Shun. Listen. It's a she. Orchid, stop. You gotta talk to Blossom. There's been a. Uh. She's so fast. We can't. Shh. <gasps> Orchid, stop it. Go didn't betray me. It's all fine. Are you sure? Because I can always. No, go help us. He knows all about father, and he's tricked way into leaving us alone, and... Orchid, what have you done? She got the wrong man. I did. Oh, of course. Go was in disguise, so Shun looked like the only young man. It doesn't look too deep. Please accept my profuse apologies, Shun. You evaded my attack well. Yeah, well, evading stuff is his specialty. Go! How may I make amends for my error? Hey, you know what, Orchid? Why don't you take him home? You can keep an eye on him. Of course. It is the very least I can do. There's no need to go to any trouble. I'm sure I can... <laughs> Shun, my old friend, seems like the best idea. You won't be walking off anywhere for a while with that nasty leg wound. Orchid, you took us both on. And almost won. Looking at you, I can scarcely believe it. Well, don't ask her to prove it. Father's gift to me was that of discipline, hard work, and frugality, which gives me total focus and energy in all I do. Your friend will be in good hands. Oh, great. Thanks. Poor Shun. Hey, sister! He's the one who almost got me killed! He was attacked on your behalf, and I really don't think he's going to enjoy his time with Orchid. He went to risk his neck willingly. <sighs> he's always been the same, and he's never going to change. Unlike you? 
Are you going to be learning from this and turning over a new leaf? If you're going to be fair, you either have to learn from your own mistakes or forgive him his. You know what? I think I can find it in myself to forgive him. This time. Little Go and the Four Flowers of Shandong Written by Fiona Thrail, produced by Robin Patterson Starring Robin Patterson as Little Go Fiona Thrail as Sister Cat Sean portrayed by Richard Bartow David Alt as Ming Al Asiochi as Blossom Melissa D. Johnson as Chrysanthemum Rose Girl 18 as Lily Melissa D. Johnson as Orchid with Ty Consack as Punctilious Way. Ming Song, produced by Saffron and Fiona Thrail, performed by Saffron and sung by David Alt. Additional music by Saffron. And music The Battle by James Underberg. Sound effects found on The Free Sound Project, SoundSnap.com, Apple iLife Sound Effects Collection, and purchased from SoundEffectsLibrary.com. This recording is licensed under a Creative Commons 2.0 non-commercial share-alike license. <sighs> Say that three times fast. This story and all related characters are copyright 2008 Robin Patterson and Fiona Thrail. All rights reserved. This step into audio adventure... <coughs> this step into audio... <coughs> oh, I can't do this. Hey Al, could you give me a hand? This step into audio adventure can be found at kungfuactiontheater.com where... Theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Until next time, 再见. Bye-bye.